Oh, right, I've been sent more footage from the DJI Mavic Pro um, from a friend of mine who uh, we've now he's now changed the settings and the um, color profile, picture profile um, of the image, and uh, we're going to see how well it's turned out and what we can learn from this. So the first clip that we've got here um, is is interesting from the very beginning. So this was shot at 1080p. 50 frames a second, we've got the details up here uh, and that's, that's pretty much all that we get in this information. So that's absolutely fine and we're watching it, let's watch it in uh, better quality, optimised. Cool, so we're watching it in as good as we can and what we can do, we can just get rid of this area here. Cool, so I'll be uploading this video in the full um, uh, 1440k resolution so you can hopefully you'll be seeing it as well as what I'm seeing it. So let's start off with the first shot here. So here he is flying again towards the sun. We're seeing some lens flare. This is at 1080p 50 frames a second. Straight away what I can see is some dancing going on in the shadows. There's a good bit of what seems like noise, some ISO noise going on in the shadows. And at the moment the shadows there are mush. That That's pretty much the only way I could describe it. And what, okay, what was that? That was so weird. At the very start, it looks like the lens rotates. Watch, <laughs> watch the, uh, the flare that we're getting from the sun. Three, two, one. There, it rotated around. So it's like the actual lens rotated. That's very strange. I've never seen that before. And I don't see it happening again. So... Um, I love lens flare. I think lens flare is cool, um, and uh, I don't think that's too distracting what we're seeing at it there. I think it looks quite nice. Then, okay, so here we're seeing the, the lines coming down the screen, so that's showing that the propellers, although not in the shot, are definitely casting a shadow down onto the, onto the sensor. And then, how dark does that get? Now, there's some weird flickering of exposure. It's like the camera didn't quite know what to do. It goes dark, a little bit brighter. So all we've got here is complete black shadows. Um, and for the, okay, it's a high contrast scene, so it's going to be pretty tough for it to see anyway. So that's that's absolutely fine. Nice shots. But again, yeah, straight away, I would say it looks more like a painting. If if we zoom in, let's say we go to 200%, and we look at that, that is really weird. That That's, that's not sharp. Um, that is, and, and the, the owner of this um, Mavic has even said to me that, yeah, 1080 sucks. <laughs> so this isn't me just kind of going, I think it looks crap. This is the owner himself is saying 1080 definitely sucks. So it's not just... Yeah, so like the movement stuff is cool, but the actual detail is gash. <laughs> it's the only way to describe it. It really is shockingly bad. So yeah, the, it, yeah. Let's just if I view the, I'll zoom this into two hundred percent so you can see it as well as what I am. But that just looks like a crayon drawing, like somebody with some chalk or some crayons have, have drawn that. It just doesn't quite get the shot. There's also a couple of little bumps going on here. This wasn't a windy day, this is a totally crystal clear day and the camera is bouncing around a little bit. Clip it is going up and down a little bit. Not the smoothest shots there actually. I'm not I I'm not I'm not being massively impressed here. Like if I like, again we'll zoom into 200 percent and watch how much it goes up and down it like it's like it's clicking around. It, okay, it, it's small, it's small, it's a little bit bumpy, but it's just an odd bump to have. So rotating it round, bring it back in for landing. Yeah, the, the so the foreground, so this is at focus. He says he's totally worked on the focus. 
and it is still just kind of mush. So they're smooth. Okay, so we'll uh, let's zoom that back out to 100%. It's cool shots. It's cool shots. Cool location. In the winter, somebody's camping. But yeah, again, if we, so this is a high detail shot. If we zoom in, and if we look at that, it just, that just, it's, it's like a painting. It's like a painting, it's not like uh, an actual shot. Okay, so the next file, this is where it gets interesting. This is 4K footage, unfortunately only at 24 frames a second. Um, and this is at um, cinem uh, cinematic display CDI or something like that. So in other words, this is is not sixteen by nine. This is seventeen or eighteen by nine or something like that. So, or it's longer that way. So we've got black line top and bottom in the shot. And um, so four K straight away. Uh, I think uh, the owner of this said that he had um, increased the exposure um, on this shot. So again, roughly the same shot. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And straight away, although the exposure must be higher, there's no dancing um, of ISO noise going on in the, in the, what do you call that? The shadows area there. It's a much, much cleaner image. Very good. So obviously this is it compressed down to a 1080p um, video timeline that I'm watching it in. But that looks nice. That looks sharp. If we just, if we can just go zoom in three hundred percent to the trees. Now that's good. That is that's what what you want. Nice. And actually, if we go down to fit, but on the video, let's say we go to zooming right in. Now we can go. Yeah, that looks really good. Can we play that? Oh. Now that is crystal sharp. So next bit, what to look at? And um, let's just remove what I've done there. So, oh, look at that. Now that's some serious purple. Um, sun flare coming through there. That is awesome. It's almost like you're looking through somebody's iris, this uh, weird red flare going on. It's really, really cool. But then, let's see, does it get a bit weird? So yeah, you've really got to be paying attention because if you are just flying with this constant flare, that is distracting. That is a bit pants. Let's see. So yeah, there... Even though at 24 frames a second, you're still getting the lines going up and down. Certainly, you can see it more in the in the corners there from the shadow from the propellers. Now, what what is this? What is this flare? We're getting these weird circular shots here. One, two, three, four. Very odd. Watch as they come in. Ooh. That was weird. That was like you're looking at like some alien spaceship kind of thing. Uh, but color wise, it's looking good. I ha I think, let me just double check, have I added the color? I've in increased the saturation. Yeah, I've boosted it up by about 50% because uh, this was shot in a much more um, flat profile, which looked like that. So yeah, this is definitely easy to boost up to about 50% to get some more um, color out of it. Ah, oh, it's good. And so again, if we look at the shot, if we zoom it into 200%, that's much more like a digital image rather than a, a painting going on there. So it seems like if you're shooting with the DJI Mavic, you have to go for 4K um, resolution to get something which doesn't look bad. However, at 24 frames a second, it needs to be pretty stable. Let, let's go to the next uh, video clip that we've got here. So before I even look at the information here, just looking at this, I can tell, I'm guessing this is 1080p. Uh, it looks pretty pants. Let's see, info, 1080, 24 frames a second. So it seems like going from 50 to 24 doesn't, oh God, that is really bad. That's really bad. 
Uh, that doesn't seem to increase the quality um, of the image at all. Eek. So much uh, aliasing going on there. It's... That is disastrous. Yeah, do not shoot at 1080p on this. That's a be it's beautiful shot. Absolutely stunning shot. There is a bit of the weird lens flare again. Ah, oh, lovely lens flare. That is, oh, stunning. A beautiful location, but the image quality is just pants. Look at that. That's pants. Let's see another 4K shot. That's another 1080. 4K. Come on, show me a 4K shot. Okay, here it is. Here's another 4K shot at uh, 200%. Yeah, that's where you want it. Okay, so definitely 100%. Uh, even if you go for a slow frames a second, or a low number of frames a second, for example, like 24, 25, 30 frames a second on the DJI Mavic. If you're shooting 1080p, the quality is gash. And it's not the case of, oh, it's just because 4K is so much better. It's like, no, it's actually the 1080 is is actually bad. It's not the case of, yeah, it's not the case of, oh, I'm spoiled with the, with the 4K. It's, it's, I'm really not. I'm, I'm, the 4K is, is good, but the 1080... It's not just like the 1080 is that 1080 quality. The 1080, if you had that on a big TV in an office or somewhere, you'd be like, uh, I think you've uploaded some crap footage. Meanwhile, here, 4K compressed. Oh, look, at you can see a tiny little bird. Oh, that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, if you're shooting the DJI Mavic Pro, if you want quality image, uh, you want if you want quality image, if you want good image quality. 1080p does not cut it at all whatsoever. It is actively bad. Yeah, straight away there it is there, and yeah, huge differences. I'll try and put them up side by if I can get any shots side by side. I'll do that next.